Acid rain is a serious environmental problem occurring all over the world, particularly in large swath of the United States and Canada. As the name suggests, it indicates precipitation that is more acidic than normal. It is harmful not only to lakes, streams and ponds in an area but also the plants and animals that live within the given ecosystem. Here in this video, we will try to find out what is acid rain, why does acid rain happen and how we can stop it. So let's start out to this video. What is acid rain? Acid rain describes any form of precipitation that contains high levels of nitric and sulfuric acids. Acid rain is a broad term that is often used to describe several forms of acid deposition. Wet deposition is when rain, snow, fog or mist contains high amounts of sulfuric and nitric acid. Power stations, factories and cars all burn fossil fuels and therefore they all produce polluting gases. Some of these gases, especially nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide, react with the tiny droplets of water in clouds to form sulfuric and nitric acids. The rain from these clouds then falls as a very weak acid, which is why it is known as acid rain. Dry deposition of acid rain occurs when dust and a smoke that contain high amounts of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide settle to the ground or onto buildings, cars and vegetation. These gases are converted to acids when they contact water. Normal rain is slightly acidic with the pH of 5.6 where pure water has pH of 7 while acid rain generally has pH between 4.2 and 4.4. What causes acid rain? Acid rain results when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are emitted into the atmosphere. When humans burn fossil fuels, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the atmosphere. Those air pollutants react with water, oxygen and other substances to form airborne sulfuric and nitric acid. Winds may spread these acidic compounds through the atmosphere and over hundreds of miles. When acid rain reaches Earth's surface, it flows across the surface in runoff water, enters water systems and sinks into the soil. While a small portion of the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide that cause acid rain is from natural sources such as volcanoes, most of it comes from the burning of fossil fuels. Effects of acid rain Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are not primary greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming one of the main effects of climate change. In fact, sulfur dioxide has a cooling effect on the atmosphere. But nitrogen oxide contribute to the formation of ground-level ozone, a major pollutant that can be harmful to people. Both gases cause environmental and health concerns because they can spread easily via air pollution and acid rain. Acid rain has many ecological effects, especially on lakes, streams, wetlands and other aquatic environments. Acid rain makes such waters more acidic, which results in more aluminium absorption from soil which is carried into the lakes and streams. That combination makes water toxic to crayfish, clams, fish and other aquatic animals. Human Health Walking in acid rain or even swimming in a lake affected by acid rain is no more dangerous to humans than walking in normal rain or swimming in non-acidic lakes. However, when the pollutants that cause acid rain, SO2 and NOx as well as sulfate and nitrate particles are in the air they can be harmful to humans. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide react in the atmosphere to form fine sulfate and nitrate particles that people can inhale into their lungs. Many scientific studies have shown a relationship between these particles and effect on heart function such as heart attacks resulting in death for people with increased heart disease risk and effects on lung function such as breathing difficulties for people with asthma. Lakes, rivers and marshes each have their own fragile ecosystem with many different species of plants and animals all depending on one another to survive. If a species of fish disappears, the animals which feed on it will gradually disappear too. If the extinct fish used to feed on particular species of large insect, that insect population will start to grow. This in turn will affect the smaller insects or plankton on which the larger insect feeds. Acid rain damages buildings and objects. Acid rain can also have damaging effect on many objects, including buildings, statues, monuments, and cars. The chemicals found in acid rain can cause pain to peel and stone statues to begin to appear old and worn down, which reduces their value and beauty. What you can do to stop acid rain? People calling to reduce the creation of acid rain. Government agencies and scientists are not only the ones that can take action to stop acid rain. You can become part of the solution too. First, understand the problem. 
the first step you can take to help control acid rain is to understand the problem and its solution. Now that you have learned about this environmental issue, you can tell others about it by sharing this video to your classmates, parents and teachers can help educate them about the problem of acid rain. Number 2. Conserve Energy Since energy production creates large amount of the pollutants that cause acid rain, one important step you can also take is to conserve energy. You can do this in a number of ways. Turn off lights, computers, televisions, video games and other electrical equipment when you are not using them. Driving cars and trucks also produces large amount of nitrogen oxides which cause acid rain. To help cut down on air pollution from cars, you can carpool or take public transportation such as buses and trains. Also ask your parents to walk or bike with you to nervous store or friend's house instead of driving. Thank you.